Now that we've got the firmware in there, we can start the actual setup or configuration. I have my own way that I do this. Um, I'm open to what anybody else says. <laughs> Go ahead and call connect to the flight controller. Basically, data here is where you get your status while you're flying. You can do some control in there. You can click here and say fly to here on a map, all sorts of things. This tab is for making missions, planning. This tab is for setup. This tab is for configuration. This is a simulation. And this is just your help screen. So setup, pretty much where it starts. And we saw the firmware install. So you have mandator mandatory hardware and optional hardware. And then this advanced section. This advanced section is terminal and uh, some scripts. Uh, not going to touch that at all in this. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it at all much anyway because it, it's not that needed uh, so basically you start out under setup mandatory hardware and work down this list that will basically get you in the air if you've got a normal machine a normal model setup whatever but if it's some special needs you're going to see as we go through this uh, require you to go other places the Ardu is, I think, more functional than pretty user interface, graphical interface. Um, they're working. They keep making the graphical interface much, much better. They're, they're improving it all the time. But there's just little problems here and there, uh, if you know about them you'll be fine so we'll start down this list accelerometer calibration I think we've all done these if you haven't here goes one you see the platform on the table you click here calibrate accelerometer when you do it'll tell you right here please place the vehicle level okay it is level whoops it is level. I need to get the cable out from underneath it. Uh, I'm going to put like a little quarter of an inch underneath the front. Just a little bit of up out angle is what I'm looking for. But we'll see how that works out later. Please place vehicle level. Click when done. Click. Please place vehicle left. That means on its left side. That doesn't mean place it over here and click again. <laughs> so you place it as well as you can on its left side and click. Place vehicle right. Uh, this is why I wanted to do this and did do this with the flight controller before I put it in the fuselage. So this is on its right side now. I'm trying to hold it as steady in each of these as possible. And click. Place vehicle nose down. There we go. And steady. Click. <laughs> Place vehicle nose up. <sighs> Can you imagine what this is going to be like with the Sky Hunter? Nose up. Click when done. Ready. Uh, place a vehicle on its back. Okay, I think a lot of us have done lots of these accelerometer calibrations, but some of us may not. So, click. Calibration successful. That accelerometer calibration is completely done. Uh, there may or may not be a reason to do another one sometime in the future uh, post repair this that and the other but uh, those are pretty simple uh, I know this is kind of redundant for those of us who have been at this for a while but for the rest of us uh, 
That's an accelerometer calibration. Number one on our list is finished.